Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Demon Slayer Mugen Resha and the anime episode number three. All right, the previous episode um we got like you know we got more stuff related to Rengoku, Tanjiro, uh, Zenitsu and Inosuke. They met Rengoku and we saw a little bit of a glimpse of his power. Uh, people who've watched the movie will obviously know what happened and then like, you know like all the Tanjiro and the friends ever like like Aniki is here <laughs> like like teaching Aniki like you know that whole thing and we kind of see how uh, Tanjiro is probably like this the first time that he gets a person who he can rely on you know like uh, an actual big brother and how you know like the, like not only Tanjiro like uh, Zenitsu and Inosuke but for Tanjiro I think this is a, a bigger deal because in a way, you can say Inosuke and Zenitsu, they basically rely on Tanjiro about m for most of the stuff, you know, like Tanjiro basically takes care of them. <laughs> Tanjiro takes care of Zenitsu, Inosuke and Nezuko. So <laughs> in a way, he's kind of like a big brother for them. So that's why I'm saying like Tanjiro, like this is probably a bigger deal for Tanjiro who can kind of rely on someone for the first time after quite a long while because all like you know his family has always been him being the big brother the only person who he could rely on before was his mom and his dad when like you know they were alive and after that like no one to rely on like everything he's he's like the older brother for everyone so yeah it was it was actually like you know nice to see like him relying on rengoku so and yeah we know what's going to happen but anyways so yeah that was that and you know like we kind of see the prologue of everything what's going to happen you know the calm before the storm so i'm guessing we're going to get into the main stuff from this episode tanjiro went to sleep the whole dream sequence starts and yeah that's what happens so without further ado let's get started this is episode number three of uh, demon slayer mugen Shahen. so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> oh boy oh my god it's so <laughs> creepy you know, hand Oh boy. Oof. Ah. <sighs> All right. All right, the opening. Damn, the opening is just fire. Not in the opening, the ending as well. Both by Lisa. Ah. All right. Whew. 
should have been okay Yep, everyone's asleep. That <laughs> Enos is like on top of. I kind of forgot what Zenith and Enos saw in their dreams. I can't rem. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, and this was her his dream. Damn! <laughs> oh, he's asleep, so he can. Wow. <laughs> and what was Inosuke dreaming? I also forgot. Oh, yeah, this thing. Okay. One zero. Cheats. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. The oh my god. He finally got what he wanted. Fight the train. He wanted to always to fight the train. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god, the weird dreams that there. Oh boy. Oh boy. I forgot his name. Did they even Did they even mention the brother's name? I forgot. Yeah, we know. Hmm. <clears throat> Send you okay. Yeah, like he was very small. I'm guessing when the dad was all. Like, you know, supportive and everything. So... 
Flame inside my heart. Yeah. All right. Oh. Ah. Oh. This part was the most difficult part, like, you know, like getting out of the dream and then we know what happens, just like... <laughs> Oh yeah, here she is. Oh boy. <sighs> Circular. Oh yeah, I forgot these technical parts. Give them screwdrivers. What are those? Ice picks. Let's try to find the edge. Oh, there it is. Uh. Oh, there it is. It's on fire. Ah. <clears throat> yep, there it is. It's like fire completely. Yep. Yeah, there. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Boy.
Oh, here we go. Yep. <laughs> this lone laser go anymore. It's like logs <laughs> and sticks. Huh. Oh yeah, one thing I, I think I forgot. I think I forgot about this. Nezuko's not asleep, isn't she? Oh yeah, this thing, hold the, the whole demon. Okay, I'm forgetting this part. So Nezuko was not asleep. That means because always, okay, there. Because you know, like, so. Toolbox. Oh, damn. <laughs> falls in yeah survival instinct tatakai yes boy tatakai ah <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> Pinch yourself. <laughs> oh yeah, as I was saying, so Nezuko's not asleep. Yeah, there you go. I I forgot about this part completely. <laughs> oh my god, that's <laughs> cute. <laughs> oh my. Oh no. Okay, yeah. The. Crying, oh my god. All right, yeah. <sighs> oh
Yeah. But it's like you know, like fate is a weird thing. Like his dad was uh like you know related to all this, so I'm guessing someday or the other, even if the whole tragedy didn't happen, he would have had to take up the sword in some way or the other. They could have been alive, but that would have been it. I'm sure Tanjir would have had to take up the sword. <sighs> Yeah, he's still standing here. Oh boy. Yep, this is his subconscious. <sighs> So he's just standing there. Phil. Yeah, he's thinking Nezuko's hurt or something, but Nezuko basically cut his, her head banging on Tanjiro. Okay. Yep. Wait, was, was this also in the, I think this was also in the movie, was it? I, f I forgot. There's stuff that is actually confusing me because I can't remember what actually happened in the movie. Did this happen in the... I think so. But anyways. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of like a risk. But you have to take it, otherwise...
Ah. Let's wake up. Oh. All right, that's the end. Oh. Like the dynamic, like you know, then it's when you know, scared like seeing weird dreams, <laughs> and like you know, Rengoku and Tanjiro's like very serious dreams. Oh boy. All right, damn. Okay. Oh, yeah, this section. Insult. All right, that's the end. Okay, now one thing I should probably say first. Uh, obviously, I've seen the movie, but <laughs> if if you if you're watching my reactions for quite a while, you will probably know this. But my memory is pretty damn bad, and <laughs> I I kind of forget stuff really real quickly. You know, like like there's stuff that I really remember for a long time. Like it's actually weird. My memory is really weird. Like there's stuff I remember for very long time like i can probably say a lot of things like lot about a lot of animals that i've seen like seven or eight years ago but like you know like the details i forget most of it so even though i've watched the movie a couple of months ago i've actually forgotten a lot of stuff <laughs> so like you know like that's why i know they are going to include um new scenes i know that they're going to do that and that's why like you know there will be times when i probably won't be able to recognize if like a scene is new for example in this episode the scene that kind of like you know made me think that is this like a new scene or something is like you know the, the whole like when uh, tanjiro's dad comes i can't actually remember if this scene was already in the movie or was this actually added i can't remember at all so yeah, this, this is probably happening in the future as well. Like I won't be able to actually recognize if there's like a new scene because uh, like a lot of things are actually like, you know, like, like I forgot about a few things. For example, in this episode, I, I forgot completely about what Tanjiro, uh, what Zenitsu and Inosuke were dreaming about. It was shown in the movie, but I forgot about it. And then as soon as they showed, I was like, oh yeah, this was what was actually happening. And you know all these things so yeah but anyways okay so this episode um this is the whole dream sequence episode that we uh know what like you know that we are familiar with from the movie um <clears throat> obviously <laughs> zenitsu and inosuke's dreams are <laughs> some kind of comedic <laughs> a very comedic you know like zenitsu is like like you know <laughs> jumping around with nezuko and inosuke is like on his way to fight the train like <laughs> oh my god and there's like ponjiro and chuitsu <laughs> okay and and the, um, nezuko's like a rabbit <laughs> wow that was that's like you know like it's funny stuff and now 
<laughs> then we come to um, Rengoku and Tanjiro's dream. Rengoku's dream, obviously, we see the dad, how he has given up about all of the things. And another, here's the, another thing that I, 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 I've forgotten about completely. Um, I can't even remember if they actually mentioned this in the movie or not, but uh, I forgot completely about the reason why Tan uh, Rengoku's dad actually, like, you know, is so, like, you know, has given up on everything. I'm sure they actually mentioned that in the movie, probably in, in, almost at the end or the, the middle of the movie. But I can't remember what it is. So, like, you know, in the next episode, I'm sure they'll explain something. And if there was actually something that they said in the movie, I'll remember it in the next episode. But for now, it's completely blank. I can't even recall why um, Rengoku's dad had given up on, like, you know, like everything. Like, we, we see him, you know, like, he's like laying down, he's like, everything's worthless. And, you know, like, what will it even do, even if you become the Hashira? And I can't remember if they gave us the reason in the movie or not. But we'll see in the next episode. Like, this, this, that's why basically we're, like, you know, like, seeing these in the episode format. Like, stuff that we've forgotten, it'll get refreshed. And it'll make us ready for the next season, which is the Entertainment District R, which will start from December. So, yeah, it's also, like, a little refresher. And... Uh, <clears throat> Okay, so here, uh, obviously, Rengoku tells his brother that not to worry because, um, like, here's the thing, like, it's kind of like, you know, like, the brother, um, like, obviously, he was very young, like, he, uh, obviously, he's younger than Rengoku, and, um, like, you know, when the brother, as, as Rengoku said, that previously, dad was not like this, so the amount of time, I guess, the brother spent with that dad when the dad was like, you know not like this is very less compared to what rengoku spent rengoku has spent a lot more time with his dad like you know like training them and motivating them and not like this the way he is now so in a way that's why like you know rengoku was saying that my dad was always not like this before and at the same time there's another thing is that the brother actually has Rengoku with him, who is his older brother. So even if like you know that is like this, Rengo as Rengoku said that you don't have to worry because I'm here with you. I'm your older brother, and it's very different from my like you know uh, like the things that I had to go through because uh, like when his dad became like this, Rengoku had to become like you know uh, what can I say like had to do everything on his own. And, uh, and you know like find his own determination and there's no one to actually like you know no one supported him and stuff so he was alone but the brother has him so as Rengoku said that you don't have to worry I'll be there to support you and that's like the good part of this like, you know because Rengoku is there as an elder brother to him but yeah obviously these are all like what's happening in the dream so yeah, and we see, like, you know, the children actually going to the subconscious and trying to <coughs> destroy the core. And Rengoku's subconscious is just fire everywhere. It's, like, burning hot. As, like, we, we know, like, he, like, his soul is, like, burning, you know? Like, burning with determination and all the other stuff. So, that's his subconscious. And... Like, that was Rengoku, and then, like, you know, we see Tanjiro again, like, oh, and Rengoku kind of, like, you know, like, we, because of his survival mechanism, tries to, like, you know, like, takes the girl by the throat. And just like that, similarly, Tanjiro's survival mechanism also kicks in, where, like, he sees himself in, in the reflection, like, telling him to wake up. And here is another thing that I actually forgot. I actually forgot what happened to ne Nezuko. And I, my memory again got refreshed here when we saw <laughs> Nezuko coming out. And Nezuko's like, what's happening? Why is everyone asleep? <laughs> and Nezuko goes to Tanjiro, like, tries to get head pads, but unfortunately, no head pads. <laughs> And then she starts banging her head on Tanjiro's head. <laughs> her head starts bleeding. 
and she starts crying oh my god and i'm guessing the fire is because of nezuko's blood art blood demon art you know that she has and like you know like that thing and here like here's one thing tanjiro is kind of uh like you know unable to gauge what's happening she, he's thinking that like you know he's like smelling nezuko's scent and the blood scent scent of blood as well so he's thinking something must have happened to nezuko like he's like she's injured or something like probably fighting with someone that's why she's like oh i need to he's like i need to get out of here as soon as possible and help nezuko <laughs> he doesn't know that there was like a self-inflicted wound where <laughs> nezuko just banged his head on tanjiro <laughs> because she did not get enough head pads <laughs> <laughs> but you know like that kind of helped him to actually snap out of that whole situation and he comes out and you know everyone also comes out tells him not to go and that's like a sad scene like you know the brother tries running after him and falls down crying but he, he cannot look back he just has to go forward and otherwise he won't be able to get out of this place and uh, yeah and now now we see tanjiro's subconscious and as we can see it's it's vast it's beautiful it's it's calm and warm you know just like how tanjiro is as a person like you know her inside of his heart how he is and <clears throat> yeah so that was that okay and obviously then he actually oh and then uh the whole scene with the dad comes up which i again as i said i can't remember if this was shown in the movie or not i think it probably was shown yeah i think i think so most probably it was also shown um i i, I think i basically forgot about this scene so yeah like the dad says that take up your sword and you know what to do tanjiro decides to actually slash you know and it's kind of a scary thought you know like um in a way this whole thing is kind of a sleep paralysis isn't it like in a way like it's kind of scary to think about like just like how in sleep paralysis you are actually aware of what's happening but here you're not aware you're you're actually aware of what's happening inside your dream world like sleep paralysis is, is a little bit different where you're actually aware of what's happening outside you know but you're still in a dream state so like in a way it's kind of like that where it's basically you have you know that you're dreaming and but you cannot get out of that and like like i'm sure like everyone like everyone has at least once encountered sleep paralysis and like i've also had so like we know what like you know like we know what sleep paralysis how much kind of like you know weird and scary it is like it feels as if like you know you're inside a mud where from where you cannot get out you know what's happening but you can't do anything and like you know like it, it, like there's like a fear of what's going to happen like it, it kind of comes into mind like what's going to happen if i stay in this state forever and this is like a weird feeling like i can like obviously like we know what sleep paralysis is and it's a weird bad like you know like murky type of feeling and you know like similar to that here tanjiro also is kind of like in a dream sequence where he rec realizes what's happening outside kind of and he has full conscious but he can't get out so he has to kill himself in his dream now obviously like this also brings up another question what will happen to me outside because you're actually killing yourself like you're you're, you're conscious in your dream you're killing yourself like you know that it's a dream but for you it feels real so obviously the, the fear will set in that will i die outside as well so it's kind of like a scary thing like as we see but yeah he has to do it otherwise he can't get out such a messy situation and uh, yeah he kind of cuts his neck and yeah so that was it so from the next episode we're going to get to see more of this and i'm guessing the next episode we're going to see uh we're going to get into the fighting portion you know so yes yeah, stuff stuff is going stuff stuff, uh, stuff is going to get serious from the next episode uh, like you know the whole rengoku fight and then 
uh, like you know like when they the fight outside the train that will happen as well and we know what's going to happen so yeah so that's it so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to demon slayer mugen resha hen the anime episode number three so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out and that's it so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of demon slayer mugen resha hen so until then goodbye and have a nice day